Hello guys, I'm Mightyballs and welcome to this replay regarding my Skoda, my very new Skoda TVP T5051, the tier 10 check tank. I'm with my good friend Ninja Jappy from QSF. We know each other from when I used to be in QSF about a year ago. My thoughts with this is I'm going to go off to the middle, I'm going to get some medium or light tank on the way, put my clip into him and laugh at him. <laughs> Ninja Jappy is going to go down the 1-2 line because he wants to make sure that no... Uh, D5 and the FE215B don't wreck that side and come trampling into our base. So I'm going off to the middle. I've got a T50 who's got the same idea as me. I let him pass because I don't want to block him. I pull up to the side. I see an E50M. I put in one shot, two shots. I go for a third, but unfortunately it was quite a poor shot from me. So I reload. This tank's only got a 21 or 22 second reload. I haven't got brother in arms. But I've got Butch D which helps control the reload to a little bit faster. So I'm going to just go and head off on top of this hill just to uh, see if I can spot anyone coming on the other side. I have no idea what that uh, WZ1111111111114 is doing. <laughs> so anyway, I don't spot anyone so I think no one's immediately rushing down there any fast tanks like a Centurion X or anything like that so I thought I'll head off down to here suddenly an FE215B goes that way I'm thinking mm, that's tasty <laughs> so I'm gonna uh, just see if he's gonna see if he crests this hill because some tanks go up there and see if they can spot some TDs or RT or something so I'm gonna make sure that this guy goes back down if he does do that because I want my TDs and I want my RTs surviving this battle Ninja's voicing his concern, the fact that there's a few tanks down there. I've told him he can handle that. There's a few there. You've got a 50B, you got an E5, you've got yourself, you've got an E100. Just don't do anything stupid. And he, at, at that point, he tells me he's done something stupid. He's got himself into a position he cannot control. <laughs> Unlucky, mate. But anyway, I've got a tasty FV215B to feast on. So I'm going to go around here. I'm wondering what the hell that... T30 is doing because he's not spotting he's just camping on that line I put in one shot he bounces I put in a second it pens it sets him on fire third a fourth and it sets him on fire again that's two fires in one in one round that's not bad now the Centaurian X he just wants me look he just wants to shoot me once that one shot and he misses and now he's in a predicament. <laughs> he's come YOLOing in, he's got hit by RT for nearly 900. He's getting shot by all the tanks. I'm reloading and I give him the ultimate prize for YOLOing. Guys, don't YOLO like a tomato. Be a bit sensible. Think about what's around that corner. Am I going to get killed within two seconds if I go around that corner? So the game's 5 1 with 5,000 up on HP. And I only need 1,400 to get my high caliber, and the game's only three minutes old. I know that there's a 183 down there, so I've decided I'm going to get the butt of him. See if he, see if he's a good player. See if he stays where he is, hoping I'll come around the corner. So I'm going to go up here. I don't know if you guys know this position, but this position is pretty good if anyone's flanking that corner. You go around it and you get their ass. But nope, as I find out, he's not there. So I'm going to keep going forward, hopefully seeing him. And they'll just drop down here and suddenly I'm spotted. Hang on, what's happening? And great mechanics there. He's gonna miss thankfully. I fire hits his top plate unfortunately. I shoot again, hits his bottom plate, and then I track him and put one more shot into him. Now I'm gonna keep on keep on driving past this because he's only got a 45 degree each way turret, so it'll take him ages to turn to actually shoot me if I drive down here. As you're seeing, he's now about to repair his tracks and I'm about fully loaded, so it's perfect for us all. I go for a track, it's a really poor shot. I put two shots and someone else finishes him off. So I've done 4,911 damage, two kills. My team's winning 9-4. I've already got my high caliber. 
I'm not reloading because I think there's a tortoise there. And then suddenly an FV4005 comes. I put in my two shots and I pull back. That's the best thing about this this tank. You can put two shots in really quickly and get back before they've even turned the turret nine times out of ten. <laughs> so I'm going to go down here. I'm going to keep him proxy spotted. Hopefully my arty can take him out. They're aiming on him and they take him out. So I'm nearly loaded. I'm going to get this tor uh, tortoise. I'm hoping that he's facing the other way. He's not. Why are all the TDs facing me? <laughs> I put in two shots into this cup holder and my third one bounces. So I'm going to stay here. I'm in RT safe cover. I'm behind a building or should I say in between buildings. So I'm happy I'm not going to get shot by RT or that big TD in the back. My tortoise gets taken out. I drop down because I'm unspotted and now my focus is on the grill. And then suddenly an RT spotted and I think, ooh, RT. Artie's more important, so I aim at Artie. No, I can't get him, so then I turn my attention to the grill. I put in one shot, two shots, three shots, four shots, and in a matter of four seconds, I just put 1,232 into him, put him down to 337 health. So, 7,372 damage and two kills. I'm going to just get around here. Hopefully, my T30 or T49 can shut down that grill. So then I can focus on the T92. Now, unfortunately, I only have two shells left. But that should be enough to kill this tank. And then hopefully reload and get the other RT for someone else does. I put in one shot. Luckily, the T49 misses. And I put in my final shot. Now I'm down to heat. I have no more standard ammunition left. And I've got 7,872 damage. So I'm going off. I, I am hopefully going to get there before the 50B. The 50B is a bit reluctant to go in by the looks of it because he's been hanging around there for a while. But I'm just going to go steamrolling in. Hopefully the RT will be unexpected and all snapshot. So I'm going in. I'm going in. RT misses and I kill him. <laughs> so let's go over to the results. So we're on the Replays website, which is Quickie Baby's website, replays.quickiebaby.com. So if you want to post a replay and maybe get onto Quickie Baby's reviews or replays, post it there. So I penetrated three, six, nine tanks, doing a lot of module damage. This tank really does a lot of module damage and does it quickly. As you can see, I damaged his fuel tanks, which set him on fire. I ammo racked him. I took his fuel tank out again, tracks. With the grill, I took out his radio operator. With the 183, I took out his fuel tanks, his tracks, his driver. And then the same with the 4005, took out his tracks. And the T30 took out his tracks. I spotted three tanks doing 7,956 damage with 954 assistance damage. I got an ace tanker in a high caliber. I got 1,212 base experience with 4 kills and as said already, 7,956 damage. Now unfortunately Ninja Jappy, because he got himself into a predicament once he's unclipped his load, he can't get out. He only managed to do 1,300 damage which is basically a high roll on his clip potential. From that battle I received 94,692 credits but because of the resupply of my Butch D and 35,000 on my, well 36,000 on resupplying my ammunition, considering I only spent one premium shell um, because I ran out of standard ammunition, that still cost me a huge total of 36,000. This tank is not cheap to run. From that I only made 33,900 credits. I did 1,818 experience because of the being premium and because it's a times two event I got exactly 4,000 experience with 180 free XP. So I fired 29 shots, 28 hit and 24 penetrated. I seem to manage to block 387 which I don't see how that is even possible because I'm pretty sure there is no uh, average number which comes up as 87. <laughs> So if you thought this video was interesting, educating or even amusing, please like and subscribe, it'll help my channel and help this video.